Now I can show you another example of a magnetic field acting on something which is not normally magnetic. For example, here's an ordinary pop can, an orange crush can, made out of aluminum. So again, it's not at all attracted to a magnet. It's a non-magnetic material. But I can put it in a coil back here, a coil of wire, goes around and around. And behind the table here, where you can't see very well, is a thing called a capacitor. And a capacitor is like a big storage battery. It stores electrical energy. And so I'm going to charge this capacitor up to a voltage of about 8,000 volts. And here on this meter in front of me, you will see it goes up to 10,000 volts when it's all the way up. So I'm going to push the button here, and you'll see the meter come up. That's about 2,000. That's about 4,000 volts. And when it gets up to 8,000, I'm going to energize this magnet. And it's going to make a little bit of a noise, so don't let it scare you. Here's 7,000. Here's 8,000. <laughs> Said not to let it scare you. <laughs> Look what it did to the can. Now you can see why I used an orange crush can. The, the electric current flowing around in the can, induced by the coil that was surrounding it, um, caused a very intense magnetic field which pushed the can in. And I'll just uh, pass this around, and you can feel it's slightly warm. And it's warm because a very large electric current flowed in it. Now, would you like to see me do it again? Everyone except for one fellow in the front row who's going to hold his ears this time because it's going to make the same sound. Here we come, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 volts, and we crush another orange crush can. Here you go. Now, would you like to see me do it once more? <laughs> yes. Except this time, I'm going to do something different. Uh, have you ever played baseball? Oh, yeah. You're the star. Because this time, rather than put the can all the way down in the coil, I'm going to just rest it on top of the coil. And I'm going to use a 7-up can. <laughs> so you can guess what's going to happen. So we're charging up. Here's 3,000 volts. Now again, it's going to make a noise. So be prepared. Here's 7,000. When it gets to 8,000 volts, we're going to release it. Now you can keep the can as a souvenir, but I want my glove back at the end of the lecture. What is your name, by the way? Jim? Okay, thank you very much, Jim. Now, another